In this video, we will create a brand new Drupal 9 application inside of an Acquia Cloud IDE. We're going to start on the terminal. So we go to the menu at the top, click New Terminal, and open to the default directory, which is Home IDE Project. Now you may already have a project in your IDE, and if you do, it's quite easy to get rid of it. We're going to change directories to go up one directory, and we're going to remove the project directory where the IDE puts Drupal projects by default. You can see it's not there anymore. The next thing that we're going to do is run an Acquia CLI command. Acquia CLI comes pre-installed on the IDE. We're running the new command, and we're going to pass an argument to it, project, which is the directory argument. So it will create a new project in the project directory that asks you which template would you like to use. I'm going to choose Acquia Drupal Minimal Project to make this demo a little bit faster. So it creates the new directory. It puts a composer JSON file in that directory based on the template. It adds Drush to it, and then it runs composer install to download Drupal core, modules, all the other things that go in the vendor directory, including Drush. So we can take a look at what's in this directory now. We can see the project subdirectory is there. We'll change into it. Refresh the file browser at the top left, and you can see all of the files that you would expect for a Drupal application. Next, let's actually install Drupal. We'll use Drush for this, since we added Drush to our application. Drush SI for site install, standard for the standard profile. And I'm just going to hit enter for all of these prompts, because Drush, based on the IDE configuration, already knows the username, password, database name, ports, addresses, etc. for installing Drupal. It asks me to confirm that I want to drop any existing databases. I reply yes, and Drush installs Drupal in the IDE. Looks like it's done. Now we'll go to the top and open the Drupal site in a new tab. We can see that we have a functioning Drupal 9 site installed in our IDE now. And we can log in. Now you can see Drush told us the username and password that we can use, but we could also type Drush ULI to automatically generate a one-time login link, which I can command click to open it in a new tab, log into my site, and start site building. That's it. We're ready to go with our new project.